So I'm sure many of you have surfed the internet or searched all over YouTube on base exercises that you can use, especially when you first start playing or you get in that plateau and you're like, okay, what else should I practice or what else do I practice? But don't worry, I got you. So in this lesson, I'm gonna be talking about three different ways you can practice a simple exercise. Let's go. So like I've mentioned before, if you've been searching YouTube for some time, you've probably come across an exercise that sounded like this. That's actually a great way to practice the modes inside of the scale, just creating arpeggios from each mode. But you don't want to leave it there. You want to be a little bit more versatile with being able to play something like that. So while that is a great exercise, you don't have to leave it right there. We're going to go over that in a few other ways you can manipulate this exercise as well. So if you happen to not be familiar with that exercise, all we're doing is creating arpeggios from the Ionian scale, a minor seven arpeggio from the Dorian scale, a minor seven arpeggio from the Phrygian scale, a major seven arpeggio from the Lydian scale, major seven arpeggio again, or flat seven or dominant seven arpeggio from the dominant scale or from the Mixolydian scale, a minor seven arpeggio from the Aeolian scale, a minor seven flat five from the Locrian scale. So that's all we're doing. We're just playing an up and down the fretboard. Okay, so what we're gonna do is ascend. That's a great way to do it, but what you wanna do is actually flip this now. So what you can do is alternate these two. So what you wanna do is start ascending on the first one, then descend on the next one. So you're gonna play the last note of the next arpeggio. Same thing, you're gonna go up, minor seven, down. Major seven, flat seven, I should say. All right, down, minor seven. Missed the note there, there it is. And then on for the last one, there we go for the Locrian, we're gonna go up, minor seven, flat five, and then we have the last, we're back up to the top. Also, what you want to do is just go back to when we practiced scales before. When you learned the major scale in the beginning, we've learned the scale in thirds. So what we want to do is play the same exact formation that we would with a scale in thirds with an arpeggio. Okay, so what we're going to do is play the first note of the arpeggio, the third note of the arpeggio, the third note or the second note of the arpeggio and then the last note of the arpeggio. So let's let's take it into context of scale degrees. Okay, so let's do one, five, three, seven. Okay, so that makes it a little bit easier for you to remember or for you to understand. So first note, fifth note of the scale, third note, seventh note. But we're gonna go based on that formation every single time. For the next arpeggio, for the next the Dorian scale, in this case we're in the key of C major. All right, so for the Dorian scale, we're gonna pl play the minor seven arpeggio. One, five, three, seven, based diatonically on that scale. So we're gonna do the same exact thing all the way up. So here's an example. diatonically based on the scale. So they might change here and there. Some of the minors or some of the majors may be exactly the same because they're the same arpeggio, but you have to remember to go based on the scale and what goes up must come down. So let's reverse it. Let's do the same thing. So in this case, now we're doing seven, three, five, one. And it just has a different tone. It has a different sound. It sounds like you're not playing an arpeggio or you're not playing a actual scale or an exercise. It sounds more melodic this way when you skip these notes. And that one element can change how you sound versus an exercise and an improv or a solo. So you can play the same thing in a different way, in a different formation and sound completely different. So let's descend with this exercise. So let's descend with this exercise. One, two, three, four.
So this is actually a great element to implement inside of your practice routines. Take a basic exercise, flip it on this head, go backwards, reverse, ascend, descend, play the same exact thing and it end up sounding not like the same thing. And you can even do more combinations of this as well. So I can ascend. So what I did was I did this, the arpeggios in thirds, but I alternated, I ascended and then descended. So I started on the first note, I'm going to descend with that first note of the next one using the same element okay so now I have four or five different exercises that I can do just from one base exercise it just sounds so interesting when you flip it like that but anyway that's all I wanted to talk to you guys about uh, just give you that little nugget when you go to practice for the next time. So that's in the key of C major, but you can flip it and put it in any key that you want. So just remember that you can alternate the arpeggios, also alternate the scales. So if you don't know the scales or the modes where these derive from, there's an entire course on learning everything you need to know about the modes, why they exist, why it's important to know them and to implement them into your playing and probably why you're already doing them right now. So check that out in the Bass Nation Academy. Link is going to be in the description. And if you guys are new and have no idea what I'm talking about, the Bass Nation Academy is an online school where tons of bass players already are learning and enhancing their bass playing skills to that next level. If you're interested, check out the link in the description. You get teachers like me, not only me, but other teachers as well. We have live classes, webinars, we have video Q and A sections. You get personal feedback, all of that good stuff. Go check it out for yourself. I'll leave it in the description. Make sure you know, so come on out clean, clear, and precise. If you haven't subscribed, check that red subscribe button down here somewhere below. I finally got that. I've been having trouble with that for a while. But anyway, red subscribe button, click that to subscribe to this channel, get notified of every single lesson, uh, click that notification bell so you get you don't miss any type of notification that comes from this channel. So make sure you know so come on out clean, clear, and precise. I think I said that already, but I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.